Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. In today's video, what we'll be doing is diving into Todoist. Um, they have released something inside of their beta, which seems really interesting. It's called Custom Views, and it allows you to sort of break down what you're seeing inside of a board. And I believe it works in the list as well. Hopefully we can give you a bit of an insight into how it works and into how it can change the way that you're using your tool. Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. Feel free to check them out below and you can skip the queue as well, but here's a little bit more about them. Today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. Superhuman is regarded as the fastest email experience ever made. Their users get through their inbox twice as fast as before, with many seeing inbox zero for the first time in years. Curious how it works? Well, there's three parts to it. First, Superhuman delivers fast speed in-app with super speedy interactions, allowing blazingly fast startup, search, and sending mail speeds. Second, by introducing workflows. With carefully crafted snippets and keyboard commands, you can power through email at rapid rates, unknown in current email software. And third, some of the most powerful email triage out there. With split inboxes, email becomes easier to manage with more urgent emails front and center and no email overflow, all personalized to your needs. Superhuman is currently invite only right now with hundreds of thousands of people on the list. We've got a special link below. Head to superhuman.com slash keep productive and learn more there. Thank you to the folks at Superhuman for sponsoring Keep Productive this month. Okay, so folks, before we begin, um, I have been going through the last two weeks a bit of a change in the way I'm working with tasks. So I'm not gonna do uh, talk about that necessarily in this video, but I probably will on my own channel in the next couple of weeks. It's been a sort of transformative process, so I've been sort of changing the way that I do task management in the last couple of months, so I'm not comfortable with sharing it fully yet, um, but hopefully in today's video I can share this new ability. So before we begin, this is in beta, so if there are currently some bugs in it, that's why. Um, if you want to also check out the full interview we did, Future with Todoist, uh, on the channel, please do check it out in the link in the description. Okay, so the new custom views uh, are accessible up in the top right hand corner and they'll appear as this sort of like up and down line. Um, and obviously from this line, you can sort through date priority. So for example, in this case, it will prioritize uh, date if I had any on there, priority. So it will shuffle all of your tasks with the red P1 at the top and P3 at the bottom or P4 at the bottom. Um, and naturally you can sort it alphabetically if you want to. So that's some of the sorting. And I think that actually has changed, but maybe that's because I haven't viewed it inside of the boards view. And you can also have that either descending or ascending like you would with many other applications. So the new feature is custom view. So this actually allows you to group it by different statuses. So for example, instead of having the sections that appear there, you can group by a range of different options. Currently, they have due date, date added, priority and label. So in this case, I'm gonna click priority because I have that set up in this area, but I'll demonstrate labels afterwards and due date um, as well. So for example, if I selected priority, I can sort them by um, priority or name, uh, but in this case, just stick it with name and ascending. So if I press sort, you can see what happens is it reshuffles the sections entirely into custom sorting. So all of your other sections sort of disappear. If I were to click in, um, there'll be sort of no indication of the sections that you had before unless you went and deleted or cleared the custom sorting. So over this left-hand side, you have the priority one, priority two, priority three, and you can see here they've been sorted by names so at A, B, C, D, E, F, G <laughs> um, sorting, which is quite cool. And if I wanted to modify that, I could click him back in and actually change it by uh, the priority per section, but in that case, I wouldn't need it but I could change it by the date added. And you can see there that the latest ones will appear at the top and I can flip it to the oldest ones appearing at the bottom, uh, if that makes sense. Now, the other thing you can do is obviously change it by label. Um, in this case, if I added a few labels before I did that to demonstrate how that worked. Okay, so I've added a few items to that. And what I'm gonna do in this case is go ahead and group by label. 
and sort by priority. So this should actually just coordinate it a little bit better. Let's demonstrate that. So as you can see, they've got an editing section, a recording section, and anything with no label. But what's quite nice as well is it still organizes it based on priority. So for example, if you wanted to see the things you needed to record with the highest priority, that can be doable there. You can also change that to anything else. In, for example, you could change it to the name, the due date, or the date added. So if you want to get the oldest stuff done first, you could put descending and sort it like that. So what's cool, at any given time, you can press X on that custom view and you'll go back to exactly where you were before, which definitely for me is, is quite nice. Um, I quite like this because if I'm in the board view, I'm managing certain projects that I have and I just want to be able to see, like, for example, okay, what is the most priority items um, that have uh, a due date that is coming up soon and I can go sort and I can organize that pretty fast. So that's how it can be beneficial because I can quickly sort inside of something that's already sorted to some extent. It's all like drilling down into a better format. Now, the reason why I like this additional view is because if you're planning a project or you have an area like this for everything and you want to be able to sort it fast, it can be doable versus I I never really use the labels and filters for that reason because I never really like that list view. The filters obviously made it easier, but having it in this board view uh, actually helps it to be a bit more sort of uh, manageable and easier to use. Now, of course, this will be rolling out and they'll probably change a few things about it, but I really do like the way that they've done that. Um, let me just check whether it's available in list view. So it is also available through list view, which is quite nice. So if you just wanted to see a linear version of what you just saw, and be able to sort exactly what um, you are gonna be doing ahead. That's quite a nice way to do it. So you can, all you have to do to do that is view that in the board view. And you can actually use the Shift V on Mac at least to switch uh, ahead in advance. And also if you exit that, um, all of the same sections appear up as well, which is very useful. So folks, that's the new custom view inside of Todoist. It looks a super interesting way to sort of distill existing boards and lists that you already have, make better use of them when it comes to planning and coordinating themes and things like that. I can definitely see for myself, for example, if I started using labels, which might actually become much more useful now, that I could, for example, have uh, you know the sorting set up here uh, where I can custom view and set it up through labels and priority. And that would help me to go, okay, right, I'm in a recording day, what needs to actually be at the top of the list? So you could set up labels based on the themes or activities you do, and then distill that using the priority and uh, ascending order, which would be very helpful. So I'm gonna probably start additionally adding uh, labels to this because it naturally opens it up to be a little bit easier than just setting up filters. Um, and like me being me, I would like to have one board to see all projects and to be able to drill it down even further. And this sort of helps to do that. So folks, hopefully you found this one useful. Please do let me know what you think of it in the comments. Are you playing around with it? It'd be great to hear. Um, as you can imagine, they're rolling out in beta, so all of this was obviously in the beta version. So please do note that down. Please again, check out the Future of Todoist feature we did recently with Amia, the founder of Todoist. But a big thank you, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Cheers, everyone.